well, I'm going to let the public know that you guys are discriminating against certain members of the clergy. Is that okay? I mean, okay. I'm doing that, but... Okay, thank you. Carolina Fort Worth. You ever wonder why the government hires such young, sweet, naive people? It's so that they can be molded into anything they want. Well, in this adventure, we meet the sweetest, youngest, cutest jailer ever in Flower Mound, Texas, as we attempt to get a jail roster. We also find out what the definition of clergy is in super conservative North Texas. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share, and please hit that notification button so that you never, ever miss an adventure from Carolina and Fort Worth. This is Carolina Fort Worth. This is the Flower Mound Police Department. We're gonna see if they have a public jail here. I don't think they do. Oh, here it is, public jail. This is the public entrance. We're gonna go over there and look. Let's see who's in here. Jail, public entrance, right here. Yeah, I was wondering if somebody could come out here and bring me one of the jail rosters, please. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? I need a jail roster or a booking sheet. Can you come out here and talk? Okay, I'll let the jailer know you're there. Okay, let's see how long this takes. Here's the jail visitation schedule. Morning visitation, evening visitation. Visitation is limited to the following. Parents, spouse, brother, sister, attorneys, and clergy may visit at any time. Well, is a spiritual advisor a member of the clergy? Any time they want, not just on the visitation schedule. So we're gonna ask if anybody in there needs a visitor that hasn't had one in a while, because I'm a spiritual advisor. Oh, that's not. Mm. Let's see if it's going to take a little time. Mm. It's pretty behind. I'm help you. Yeah, I was just wondering how long it's going to take. The jailer's heading back there now. Oh, cool. Thank you. If you could give me a jail roster or a booking sheet for tonight, how many how many inmates do you have back there? Okay, so um, can I have the jail? Can I have the booking sheet? I'm just a member of the public, okay. and then I have a second question after you get that. Okay. <laughs> She's cute. she was actually very cute, huh? And North Lake. There's a magic wand right there in the bucket. Okay. So we need to know what the definition of a clergy member is. That's pretty broad. I wonder if they discriminate against spiritual advisors or tarot card readers. sexual perversion. Hmm. So unfortunately, I can't give you that, but you can go to the, um... Can you just 
tell me the name of the person in there? Can you just tell me the name of the person so I don't have to look it up? Second question, what is a clergy member? Because it says here that attorneys and clergy may visit at any time. So... It says attorneys and clergy may visit at any time. I'm not sure. Okay. It's because I'm a member of the clergy, and maybe Dylan hasn't had a visitor in a while, so I'd like to visit him. Because it says attorneys and clergy may visit at any time. So I'm, I'm a spiritual tarot card reader. See if that's a member of the clergy. I'd like to, I'd like to do a tarot card reading on him. say member of the clergy, right? They can visit at any time. So what's their definition of clergy? Right? I mean, why is it that clergy get to visit anytime they want to? I've never heard of such a thing. Poor little girl. She didn't, didn't think she was going to have somebody like me come in. So you're discriminated against spiritual readers? Not my order. So. Who's the orders of it? Who's the okay, well, I'm going to let the public know that you guys are discriminating against certain members of the clergy. Is that okay? I mean, okay. Okay, thank you.